What's up, people? What's up, people? This is your boy, motherfucking K-Solo. And you already know what is this. This is the K-Solo Show, a.k.a. Rikers Island Stories, or Rikers Island Stories, a.k.a. the K-Solo Show. What's up, guys? Listen, man, I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of feedback from the two videos that I made about Takashi, about me speaking my mind. A lot of people out there speaking their mind, no question. I like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I told you guys, I don't lie. And um, and I like that. I like you guys are coming back at me. You know, some, some, some of you guys are kind of stupid, but uh, it's okay. It's part of the nature. And, um, you know, me, I answer you right back the same way you will give to me. I give it right back to you. You give me respect, I give I give you this respect right back. But I will never, um, how do you say, um, I'm going to take you out of my, my subscription. No, I will not. I will not take you out because, you know what I'm saying, the more the merrier. You feel I me? Mean? So, you know, and, um, and I got to say big ups, big up to those people out there that's that, you know what I'm saying, that supported me also, that, you know, they know what's up. And um, like I said, uh, some dude told me would I snitch, and I said no, I would never snitch. I mean, that's something that you could read it, you could see what I said. You know what I'm saying? I, I went a little crazy in him, but uh, you know, I mean, you know, yeah, I went in, I went in on him. But uh, you know, what I'm saying, you know, you know, you say something stupid, I'm gonna come back at you, stupid. You feel me? So anyway, um, and plain and simple, man, listen. Just like I was saying to myself a little while ago, man, and and why I'm doing this video because I I started thinking about about some shit that happened to me upstate in Collins Correctional Facility, and I, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you guys know this story, okay? But I'm I'm gonna tell you something right now, though, all right? And I want you guys to think about this shit, okay? Whatever happened with Takashi Six Nine. Whatever you you guys feel by him, whatever I feel by him, whatever you know, whatever you know, this dude is making money. <laughs> this dude is making crazy, crazy money, yo. And um, do you remember a couple of years ago when Charlie Sheen was fucking up and shit, and they uh fired him from the from the from the TV show? Two and a half men, and everybody's saying, "Yo, Charlie Sheen is still winning, even though he got fired. He's still making money." Same thing with Takashi, man. The man came home, uh, not didn't move once because he fucked up his address. He moved twice. Hopefully, this time he's smart and 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 please start selling some of those cars, man. Those cars are too fucking loud, man. Niggas see you coming three miles away, bro. All right. I'm serious. Niggas see you coming around three miles away, B. You got to get rid of those cars, kid. Anyway, yo, look, man, uh, enough of that. Like I said, keep coming. Bring it to me, you guys. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? And um, and, and one more thing, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm always with the prayers, with the people that are sick. This, this Corona 69, I mean, this Corona, you hear me? What I was about to say, yo? I was about to say this Corona 69. <laughs> look at that shit. Niggas got me thinking about this motherfucker too much, man. Anyway. This corona shit, man. You know, guys, please be careful, man. All right, man. What I'm hearing, man, the Bronx, Brooklyn, I think. Bronx is first. Brooklyn is second. Be careful, man. These are two places that I love. I love the Bronx. I love Brooklyn. I love Manhattan. Money making, no question. You know, I love the Bronx, being I love the motherfucking Manhattan. I, I just love New York, period, man. I was stating not too crazy about it because I've been up there and I've been in the wrong side of the gate, you know? <laughs> you already know. Anyway, yo, this story that I'm about to tell you, man, this was something that I had to do to one of my peoples, man, because the nigga violated. He violated. And um, like I said, I didn't want to do this to him, man, because like I also said, he was one of my peeps, but it had to be done. You understand? Even though you pay the consequences for it, because you got to pay, you know what I'm saying, when you do something stupid. But it was, yeah, it was worth it. It was worth it. This is what happened, man. It, I was chilling. This is uh, in, 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 in college correctional facility. I don't know if it's still like that right now, because like I said, I haven't, thank God I haven't been there in years. So in Collins, when you got to go see TV in Collins, you know, you got the house. You got the house. You got the dorm theory where you sleep at. Everybody got one cube. It's a cube. It's like a little square spot. You guys know what it is if you've been upstate. Um, you, got, you know how you got your cubes? Bang, bing, bang. Okay. There's no day room. 
In college, you don't have a day room. In college, you got to go to the basement and see TV. But check this out. There's three TVs in the basement. You got the you got the the sports TV. You walk down the stairs. You make a left. The seals is right there. Once you walk down the stairs, the seals right there. You gotta give them. You gotta you gotta give them your ID. Bam. Here's your credit card. Boom. You pass them your credit card. They take it. They put it there. Whatever. Now, once you go downstairs, you gotta stay there for an hour. You can't just like y'all gotta go back. None of that shit. They ain't going for that. You gotta stay there for an hour, kid. So boom. So now. The the sports TV is I, I never like this I don't, I don't like watching sports in jail only only football but baseball and all that shit no not too crazy watching it in jail now nah, just football but uh, anyway you got the Spanish TV that's the you know all these Spanish people that know how to, don't don't know the English they got the Spanish TV and then you got the regular TV for everybody to watch movies or if you want to watch TVs but it's Collins Friday and Saturdays it's movie days. They give a movie in the morning, then they give a movie at nighttime. So a lot of people watch, you know, if, if you're working or something. If, and like I said, it's only Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday, they get two different movies. You understand what I'm saying? Like if you're working or if you, you go to the visit, you come back, you can watch the movie. I mean, I used to love watching the movie in the daytime. I mean, in the morning because it was sweet. You know what I'm saying? It was nice. I loved it. I loved it. Um, anyway, so I'm chilling. We, I, I'm in the Spanish TV because first of all, when I got there, when I got there, there was no, hold on, let me see something here. All right. When I got there, there was no such thing of people that speaks English and stuff like that go to Spanish TV and put on English TV. Nah, there was, niggas wasn't having that shit. And the niggas that was there that was running that Spanish TV was fucking near to us until I got there. And when I got there, I was like, yo, check this. We fucking, you know, you know, What's up with this, man? You got these motherfuckers over here. Got their own fucking little room with their TVs and shit. Yo, check this, man. I just got there, man. I was there maybe for like two weeks, and I already started pressing this. I was like, yo, check this, though. Saturdays and Sundays is movie nights, right? Movie days, right? Fine. I've been downstairs a few times and went into the fucking room, and niggas watching the movies. But when you go in there, they used to do some slick shit. You go in there, and they'll change the, they'll put it right back to Spanish. You feel me? A, a, a brother that goes in there, I mean, I'm talking about me myself. I don't speak, I speak Spanish and I speak English. So if you go into Spanish TV, they used to do that little bullshit and change the speech back to Spanish because they didn't want the niggas like me go there. You feel me? But now nah, I didn't go for that. So I remember one day, it was like about, I, 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 yeah, I, I went overboard. I went overboard and shit, so I, I told like about 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 sixteen of my peeps. I said, "Yo, let's go. To, let's watch the movie today. Tomorrow, Saturday, we watching the movie in the Spanish TV room." They was like, "Yo, you know, we never thought about that." I said, "I know, cause your niggas sleeping, so we watching that shit tomorrow on the Spanish TV." Because Nietas ain't the only ones that be paying for that cable. We pay for that shit too. Every time we buy a fucking card, every time we buy that. As a matter of fact. Who's in the number? How do you say the nigga? The, 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 oh my god! Because everybody had they they little thing. Blacks, American blacks had uh, what they to sell. American blacks used to sell chocolate. They just sell they just sell chocolate, chocolate cakes, chocolate candy bars, and shit like that. Okay, the Muslims used to sell bean pies, uh, uh, Muslim oil, you uh, stuff like that. Muslim soap for your face and all that stuff. Okay. The the white the white guys the white guys used to sell candies like uh um um now ladies, lemon heads, lollipops, shit like that. With Spanish people, us I forgot the A the A S L C something I forgot what it was, we used to sell the postcards. I mean, everybody wanted the postcards. Cause postcards was what? A dollar or two dollars, I think, depending. It was a dollar to two dollars. Right now, they got to be like about $3, fuck around. But the postcard was making cheddar, son, because, you know, you had birthdays, you had Christmas, you had New Year's, you had Mother's Day, Father's Day, you had it all. You understand what I'm saying? Even uh, have a baby day, go back to school day. So we had all, Spanish people was making mad money with the, with, the, with the thing, you know what I'm saying, with the cards. And I was one of the dudes, I used to, I used to buy a lot of cards for my wife, you know what I'm saying? So... So what happened was that 
when I made the law that, I mean, I made, yeah, you can say I fucking made the law. And then my peoples went behind me and said, yeah, you're right. So I said, yo, one of us got to get down with this, man. I mean, you got the whole net that's running. They, they running the whole nigga no, nation. And, and, and I mean, they running the whole shit, son. The whole, I think it was the ACL, some shit like that. I forgot what it was. Uh, but it was three letters. I forgot what it was. I mean, it's been a while. So let, 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 let's just call it the ACL, okay? So the whole net that's running the ACL. So I said, nah. I said, how many is in the group? He said, five. Five members in the board. So I said, check this out. You're going to take two of your members. You're going to kick them out. And you're going to put two of my motherfucking members in there. You're going to put two of my peoples in there. So, boom. And, and, and let me tell you, man, I was not the head doggy there. I'm, I'm talking about my peoples. You know what I'm saying? Learn by the line. I mean, I mean read, read. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, try to understand. I mean, people know what I'm talking about. So, next thing you know, everything started running smooth. We had people from the both sides running the ACL. You understand what I'm saying? You had, the, you had, that, you had the other people running the ACL. It's about fucking time. It had to take me to get there for that shit to happen. And being honest to you, I heard when 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 they didn't have that shit there, that back in that time, it was all about Muslims and the five percenters, that it was my peoples that started that shit for the Latin people. So then the Nietas came and took it over. Fuck that. Anyway, I started selling the motherfucking postcards. That's the job I wanted. That was, you know why I wanted that job? You go any fucking way. You go all over the house every day if you wanted to. Every fucking day if you want to. All you had to do was tell the students, yo, give me my card. They just give me like a little, uh, it was like a green card. That was the permission card. That's like your, your selling, your, your permission to sell shit. So I used to take my postcards. It was like a little thing like this, an um, uh, album full of nothing but postcards, all type of beautiful postcards, whatever postcards you wanted. Son, if you had to go see somebody, I had to go get some trees for somebody. I had to go, yo, listen, I go, what, what you need? Your, your man's going to hit you over what? Yo, remember, I get peace off of that. Son, oh my God. Anyway, back to the story now. After we did all that shit, I've been there for like two years now. Everything is good. One of my men, his name was Baby Boy. Pretty Boy, Pretty Boy. Johnny Pretty Boy, that was his name. Johnny Pretty Boy, man. Good dude, little loud, but good dude. And and my other man was right next to me. His name was Flacco. Flacco was chilling right there. Me and Flacco always do bug out. You know what I'm saying? When I first got there, he was one of the first people that I started fucking with in there. You know what I'm saying? So we was kicking it. We was both comedians and shit in the, you know, in the TV room. So John started getting down with us and so it was us three in the front chair in the front chair you know I couldn't see for shit I didn't have my contacts on I didn't have no glasses on and you guys already know I got bad eyesight I had a car accident so I lost 53% of my eye vision here and I lost uh, uh, 55% here and the, and the and the right eye and 53% in my left eye that's why I wear contacts you know what I'm saying in my house I wear glasses so boom so you know, I'm I'm in the front row watching TV. Here comes John with this other kid that he just got there. Now this kid's a Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican. He looked at white, but he's Puerto Rican. Nigga was was Brazil, you know, Brazil. So I don't know what happened to John that day, man. I don't know he was wanting to oppress Duke or what, but it was the wrong thing to do. So I'm watching TV. The nigga John just comes out of nowhere. It was like about me. Flacco and like three or four others watching TV. This nigga just comes out of nowhere, B, and change the TV. Bop! I looked at him and I said, yo, John, we watching that shit, son. So that nigga looks at his man, the dude that just came, whatever the fuck. He said, yo, what you want to see? Now, this nigga, <laughs> this nigga is my one of, supposed to be one of my peeps. And Flacco's looking at this nigga like, yo, what the fuck wrong with you? So I get back up and I change the TV back. Bro, I sit back down. This nigga gets up again and change. Yo, this shit happened like about four times. Now Flacco look at John and John. Flacco sells John. Yo, John, cut that shit out, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? But like him and Flacco had that little 
thing that they used to play too much with each other. They used to play around with too much with each other that there was no respect. He had no respect for Flacco. You feeling me? So, me, I played, yeah, with them. For, but remember, I, I'm, you know, I played, but when it's time to be serious, time to be serious, bro. And that day was serious shit. And plus, you're not going to come downstairs out of nowhere and just change the TV because you want to make this dude that you met look good, son. So, I know I told Flacco, I said, Flacco, if he changed the TV again, I'm going to knock him the fuck out. Now, I'm going to hit him. Flacco said, solo. If you're going to hit him, I'm your witness. But you know what's going to happen. I'm like, yo, whatever, man. But this has got to stop. I'm telling this nigga ready to stop. If he gets up again, I'm going to change it. If he does it again, right there, I'm going to hit him. I got up. I changed it. Son, he got up. Once he changed it, B, I looked at him, but I said, yo, you, are you trying to press this dude, man, here, bro? You, are you trying to press this dude? Homeboy came out and said, Bobby, I don't got nothing to do with that. Then I looked at John. I said, you see what I'm saying? You trying to press a dude that don't got nothing to do with this? Man, you know something, John? Enough is enough. I told you if you change the TV again, something's going to happen, right? Boom! Son, he fell. Motherfucking nose starts leaking. Now I'm like, oh, fuck, man. I hit this motherfucker. His nose is leaking. He got a white T-shirt on. He's, he's, it, the blood has come to his shirt. To, to get out the fucking room, to get out the, the TV room, you got to pass the COs. And the COs be right there on you. And you just can't take off the fucking T-shirt and just, you know what I'm saying, and just take it off and walk right there without no T-shirt. Seals ain't going for that, bro. And there's no sink of water that you could wash yourself. Look what we did. <laughs> it's crazy. So he gets up again. He gets up, right? So he trying to, he tried to swing at me, man. And 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 and, and right there I had to two piece him. You know, so he when he swung, I just went down on him. Went down, corner with the right. When I cornered with the right, I, I should have just left it alone right there. But no, I then I hit him with a nice quick jab. Boom, bang. So he hit his bumped his head against the wall. Now the nigga's bleeding back in his head because he hit his head in the wall, bro. Now I'm shook. I'm like, oh my God. I just I hurt this man. This man's supposed to be one of my peeps. This man, <laughs> even though he started it, you know what I'm saying? But fuck that, man. I got more proof than this nigga, babe. So nigga Flacco got up, told this nigga, yo, I told you, man, stop. Told you, told you, John, stop. Dookie, the one that, that, that nigga John was trying to look you know, all good for, that nigga broke out. He broke out. So now... Here comes, you know, everything was cool, but two of my peoples come in to the day room. They was in the other room. They was in the sports room looking at fucking wrestling, looking at the rock and shit. So they come to the room. They see the whole kashunum. They see everything, son, the blood coming under the nigga's head and nose, the, the fucking T-shirt back of his head because he's leaking. What happened? Yo, listen, yo. This nigga did this, that, this, this, that, this, this, that. And I had to put it on him, baby. Now, the two dudes, the two, the two dudes are my peoples, Moyo and um, God, Moyo and um, Eddie. I forgot, Tommy. I forgot, and I know one of the dudes was Moyo. They look at me, see your soul. This is what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna keep this shit. We're gonna sweep this shit under the rug, man. We're going to keep it on the rug. Yo, baby boy, what's up? That was Johnny, Johnny Pretty Boy. Yo, Johnny, what's up? Yeah, man, let's keep this under the day room, man. It, you know, and I told him, I said, yo, Johnny, keep this under there, man, because you know you fucked up, man. You was making for homeboy feel all good. Look at that shit. Now homeboy left you, man. And then Flacco had my back. The other four motherfucking nietas that was there, they had my back. They were like, yeah, man, you know, this nigga was acting up. But I should have never hit him, B. I should have never hit him, man. But I'm not a type of dude to write, man. Fuck, I'm going to write a kite for yo. This nigga did this. this nigga. Nah, I'm a man. Nigga violate me. I'm going to violate him the fuck. fuck. I ain't, I'm not in school to be writing them nigga up. So, I'm <laughs> sorry about that, man. So, what happens, B? Everything's supposed to be good, but I know it's a lie. I know it's a fucking lie. Because men are like bitches, man. We're going to talk. 
So motherfuckers went, and it was not none of my people's. Oh, I don't know. But niggas went and blew it up. Niggas heard, start talking about this house. Yo, that nigga Solo just knocked the fuck out. Yo, you saw you saw Johnny Pretty Boy coming in? Yeah. Yo, his nose is all buffed up. Yo, that nigga was leaking his head. Yeah, man. Yo, but you know how he made it out, bro? You know what the fucked up part? How he came out the fucking day room without the police knowledge in it, bro? Remember what I told you? There's no sink. He had a t-shirt on. I had a green shirt from a, a state shirt. I had a state shirt. It was a green with a t-shirt under. The CEO's not going to remember, man, what the fuck I had on. You understand what I'm saying? So what I did was I took off my shirt from the green one. I gave it to John. John put his head on. You know, John was a little chubby. So I'm a big dude, so it fitted him perfect. The t-shirt they had with blood and all that shit. We ripped that shit up. I took a piece, put it in my pocket. He took a piece, put it in his pocket. No, we got stabbed that. We can't keep it in the garbage. They're going to look for that. They're going to find that t-shirt, bloody t-shirt. And knowing police, bro, they're going to be waking up, yo. Check niggas' faces, check niggas' nose, check niggas' hands. My hands didn't have nothing because, you know what I'm saying, I, it, it was not bruised or nothing like that. So, you know, even though the 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 second one that I had, man, it was kind of, yeah, it was kind of, yeah, it was, it was kind of deep, son. You know, I didn't want to hit him like that, but, you know, he had to taste the rapper, you know? He had to take the motherfucking viper, you know? So when I hit him, son, I, I, I overdid. I ain't gonna lie. So anyway, son, this is how we took the blood out of his face. You ready for this, bro? My man, <laughs> my man Flago, that nigga pissed in the cup. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm fine. He pissed in the fucking cup. And told John, John, there's no water, bro. There's no fucking water. So either you pass this shit, clean your shit out with the blood, with the, with the urine, or we all go into the box. Because we ain't going to snitch on each other. You understand what I'm saying? Or the police going to pick somebody up at you. Come on. You know you know how it is, B. To put the spotlight, who did it? Where you was at? I ain't know nothing. I ain't do shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Yo, little body, that niggas clean the blow with the urine. I mean, oh, God, he passed it all over because he had it on his nose. He didn't pass it on his head because, you know, somebody did that with spit. <laughs> clean it out and shit. But, yo, but that T-shirt was damaged. We had to, I'm telling you, we had to throw that T-shirt out. And the and the part that was peed on, the pee part, man, I threw that shit in the fucking garbage, man. One of those garbage that I ain't taking, that shit's not going in my pocket. But this how fuck, yo, how scared I was, man. That I was like, oh my God, B. Not only I hit this nigga, the nigga's leaking through his nose. I probably broke his nose. Now the nigga leaking through his back of his head. You know, they're going to think that we jumped this dude, B. Because that's what that's what they think about. The first thing police upstate fucking cracker bills think about is that oh, he got jumped. You know, I swear to God, that's the first thing niggas think about, he got jumped. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, man, yo, listen. This is a, this was a little quickie that I was just thinking about, man. It just... It just hit me yesterday, and I, I mean today, and I started laughing about it. But um, this is your boy. My mouth is getting dry, so I need something to drink. That's the blood pressure pill that I'm taking now. As you notice, know right, I'm not sleeping no more in my videos, huh, niggas? That's because I got new medication. Thank God, man. Thank God. You feeling me? Anyway, this is your boy, K-Solo. This is the Ragged Island Story, a.k.a. the K-Solo Show. You heard? And yo, 69, stop being that cheese, kid. <laughs> Please, come on, man. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm trying to throw a towel on your ass, nigga. You, every time I throw you the towel, you throw it right back at me, you idiot. Yo, hold on, 6 9 <laughs> Hold on, everybody out there. To my motherfucking kings, hold your head. To my bloods, hold your head. To the cleanies, hold your head. Everybody out there, hold your head. Be careful. Love your people. Tell your people you love them. Because you never know when it's too late, man. And... Like I said, I wish I had the chance to tell my mother that. I wish I had the chance to tell my two brothers that. I wish I had the chance to tell my two sisters that. I really, yo, you don't know, man. Tell your family you love them, all right? Please. This is K-Solo, man, and you already know. Keep throwing me some out here, all right? Throw me some out. Oh, yeah, please. Press that button, man. Come on. Be a subscriber. Tell your girls, man, to look out. Look out for Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? Look out, man. You know, press that buzzer, man. Beep. That's all you got to do. It's not going to let you cute you, man. All you're going to do is be a, a subscriber. I ain't asking for no money. I ain't asking for nothing. I ain't asking for nothing. All I'm asking is for you guys to give me some love and press that button. All right? Oh, yeah, guys.